A very warm welcome to the Art Vlog Art Lovers. This is the vlog which brings you looks inside exhibitions and galleries from across London, the southeast of England, and sometimes beyond. I'm here today at the Gagosian Gallery here in Mayfair um, to bring you a look at some new works by that German punk rebel, Albert Olan. Olan um, trained in Hamburg in the 1970s before becoming a major figure on the Berlin and Cologne art scenes, becoming part of the Junger Wilder movement of those wild young artists inspired by original German Expressionism and often known as Neo-Expressionists. Um, it's really hard to mention Olan without mentioning his great friend and collaborator Martin Kippenberger who's sadly no longer with us. And I'm expecting expressionistic brushstrokes, abstract and semi-abstract works, bright colours. Olan's always been evolving. I remember in the 90s for example he used spray paint to, to, to cover collages in quite an anarchic way. He has a punk aesthetic um, he's always pushing at the boundaries. Um, with Kippenberger he was, he was sometimes conscious just he trying to create bad art and he definitely chafed against the cult of the artist so come and s join me as we have a look at this show at this wonderful beautiful space behind us it's on until the 11th of may and i just want to say a big thank you to james welsh for recommending this show um if anyone wants me to cover a show in london as long as it doesn't get like whack-a-mole going from here to here to here, to here i'm really happy to try and oblige come and join me as we head inside and see some new works by that german albert olan Thank you.
Well, I hope you enjoyed those new paintings there by Albert Olan from the Gagosian Gallery. And I would like to say thank you to the gallery for giving me permission to post this on social media. Um, I, I found it quite a cathartic experience, actually, because a lot of the contemporary art I viewed over the last month or two has been all about the meaning of the work and what it's saying, the message. Yes, some of it's been beautiful. And that's not a bad thing, by the way, that work is packed full of meaning sometimes. But this these works were the opposite of that, the antithesis. They were all about the form. As the exhibition notes say, um, the subject matter is unimportant in some ways. And as you saw, some of these works were clearly figurative. Some of them were abstract. Um, and when you step back from them into the vast gallery spaces of the Gagosian, sometimes you go, ah, oh, yeah, that's what it's about. That really hangs together well as a as a, a figurative work or as a really well put together abstract competition, composition. But sometimes um, the works just didn't hang together. They were kind of almost slapdash amateurish. And as the exhibition notes remind us, this is part of Olan's um, experimentation to almost champion self-consciously bad art art that doesn't doesn't pull together so sometimes when you doesn't pull together and, and become cohesive in fact the the notes say you know olan is testing the um the limits of coherence and legibility in work and i quite like that as well even though potentially they were quite jarring in terms of colour and composition. Some of the self-consciously bad works were still really interesting to look at. And Olan, as you hopefully saw in some of the works, has kind of split them into grids. And then within each grid, there's kind of like a, a little theme or a di different, different pattern, which might not hang together as a whole, but it still drew you in. So I was really glad to be in Olan's world. And um, if you're interested in this show and you're, you're in London, it's, it's a free one in the beautiful spaces of that gallery until the 11th of May. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog if you can do and hit that notification bell. Um, coming soon is the epic uh, expressionist show from Tate Modern. Hopefully the last Caravaggio from, from um, at the National Gallery in London. And then three exhibitions that I saw a couple of weeks ago up in Scotland's national capital, Edinburgh. And if you enjoyed this, these new works by Albert Olan, don't forget to check out my vlog on, oops, sorry, there, um, on um, Georg Baslitz from White Cube Bermondsey, which is also showing some new works. Most importantly of all, get out there and explore your local art scene wherever it is in the world. And thank you so much for watching.